Hey guys, I'm just picking up where we left off from the last video. So what we found so far is we found that ix is equal to 5.081 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the power of 4. We found that iy was equal to uh, 1.961 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the power of 4. So that was about our local um, axes that we'd chosen uh, just to be horizontal and vertical uh, to the page because it was easy to work out what the individual ixs and iys were. Uh, for each of our uh, rectangles that we split our shape into. Um, and we'd also determined what I x, y was equal to, and that was equal to minus 1.32 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the power of 4. So with that, we were going to use that to determine what this value here was, I uh, max. So we first, we, we were going to use um, this average point here. Um, and we're going to work off there. So that average point there is just the average of our ix and our iy values. And then we add on to that because we want the max, the radius. And using Pythagoras' theorem, um, firstly, we, we can work out what this bottom distance is here. That's going to be ix minus ix plus iy over 2. And if you work that out, simplify that algebraic expression, what you'll find is it's equal to ix minus iy over 2. So we're going to square that and then we're going to add on uh, the uh, rise here. So run squared plus rise squared is equal to radius squared and that's equal to ixy squared. So we'll sub in our values. So it's going to be